SpaceX Starship successfully explodes. Okay, that's that's not actually that misleading. They, yeah. It, yeah, okay. It's actually, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Do go on. SpaceX launched its new Starship rocket system yesterday. A few minutes later, the rocket experienced what SpaceX Twitter account called, and their live stream and lots of other things, a because I it, it's actually an actual terminology, a RUD, or a rapid unscheduled disassembly before stage separation, i.e. kaboom. <laughs> Much online commentary has framed this as a failure, but it wasn't. It was a test flight for a new, more powerful rocket system. The flight was unmanned, and there was no reported injuries or... Uh or damage to property beyond the rocket and its payload. That is not true at all, uh, but I'll go into that in a second. SpaceX has previously warned that the odds of success were low, and the primary purpose of the launch was to collect data, and data collection did they do. Um, a, a, a bunch of <laughs> things was that. very useful. The launch pad is gone. <laughs> So there was damage to more things than than just the rocket and its payload because uh, the launch pad was like burnt to an absolute. It, it's literally gone. There's a hole. Right. Um, so that wasn't intended. Uh, and there's some there's some ideas there. Um, there was environmental damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming so. The uh, the whole launch pad is gone and there's a huge hole. So I you could call that environmental damage. Um, they have some plans of how to deal with that in the future. A lot of them actually, and I'm sure they'll address it, but that's, this is one of the whole goals of this thing, right? <laughs> Unintended, someone in Twitch chat, unintended launch pad removal. Yeah. You yeah. know, they, they rapidly prepped the site for new development. Uh, <laughs> Kerbal space program style. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think is sweet. Um, someone apparently got hit by cool. debris. Did they actually? Uh, that's what someone's saying. Mm. A car got hit 500 meters away. Which is 500 meters from a launch site. Probably shouldn't park your car there. Well, note for next time. I mean, yeah, but also like, it could have been a lot more than 500 meters too. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to believe any of those things unless I see official details. Ooh, is this a screenshot of the launch pad? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm coming over to your laptop. Yeah. So damage to only the Starship is a not so much, because uh, there used to be a flat launch pad there. We call that a whoopsie doodles. Yep. But again, like they, as far as my understanding goes, they were aware that there might be some problems there yep. and they already have plans for fixing it for next time. This is what tests are kind of about, right? Like there's going to be problems. The fact that it blew up was not, um, was not actually like an issue. It was fine. They went into this 100% expecting that that could be a very likely outcome, right? If, if my understanding was correct, they expected it to land in the water and be like not properly recoverable, even if it didn't blow up. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't think we're going to show the footage here, but you should go watch it because it's actually like really cool. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, I've read some theories. I don't know how much of this stuff is true, but some of the issues with the launch pad are why some of the boosters didn't actually fire properly. Um, so the boosters not firing properly might not be as big of an issue as we initially thought because I think it might be related to the launch pad. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I've seen a lot of information on this that has already been debunked. Um, so yeah, look into it yourself if you want. The amount of armchair scientists has been very fun to watch mm. these idiots they should have done this thing yeah sure dude <laughs> yeah, but they <laughs> whatever didn't you think say of that. yeah <laughs> like there's a there's plenty of things as far as i can tell from actual real sources that like they did think of but you're gonna think of different things forever and at a certain point you just need to test what you got it's kind of like it's kind of like a lot of the things that i see in the comments under our videos like um, a really good one is oh, at some yeah. point I was talking about how we've reordered more screwdrivers and someone basically was like, after the failure of the backpack and screwdriver, how could he possibly be ordering? <laughs> okay, come outside your your little bubble that you live inside for two seconds. Yeah. and Or like, would you even be willing to consider that I am a just marginally rational being for a moment and that I wouldn't throw good money after bad? If I'm ordering more, okay, if we're working on Lux backpack, if we're working on new colorways of the screwdriver, if that's happening, could you not consider a reason other than me being phenomenally stupid that I might be ordering more of them, right? Like, 
I'll, I'll right. If it, sorry, I actually worded that wrong. Maybe I am phenomenally stupid, but it was probably successful, right? Otherwise, I would be phenomenally stupid to be ordering more. So if your brain can't handle any reality where I am not just spectacularly dumb and these were a failure, maybe the problem is you. Um, and it's the same for, you know, looking at stuff like this, like, uh, yeah, a, a lot of experts do work at SpaceX and they've done a lot of stuff that's quite frankly, just mind bending, game changing. Yeah. Utter failure. LTTstore.com says HB curb over on Twitch orders more failed products that mysteriously sell out. It's probably a conspiracy. I'm probably hiding those products in a warehouse somewhere, just shoveling in them in there so that I can pretend they're sold out so that I can order more. Apparently there was, yeah, I have, there's, I don't know if this is legit at all. Uh, I'm not even going to show it, but there's, there's a van and it shows it getting hit by what looks like some flying yeah. box of cement. Uh, no, apparently it was parked there to record the launch yeah. and they knew the risk. Yeah. And okay. that is real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, chat was talking about that a fair bit before. Well, okay. I mean, if that's the case, then it sounds good. Cause yeah, when like, if you go to watch these things, you have to be really far that's out. That's still damage. For sure. So it definitely still wasn't well, just the uh, rocket. Oh no, all, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah, that's yeah, the only sure. point. For sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I never thought it was just the rocket. Um but yeah, really 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 cool to see. I am I have had like no time since the launch to actually like look into it because I've just been <laughs> very busy, but I'm excited to look into it more. Um and I've heard lots of really cool things and I want to see more of it. I watched like just the little like, you know, 3-4 minute clip. Yeah. And that was awesome. So I'm excited to watch more. Nemzi in float plane chat says, these guys clearly don't understand the concept of a whale or how many you have. Mm -hmm. It's not actually the whales that drive the store success. Like we what have... do you mean? What? I, I could totally see a whale buying 50,000 screwdrivers. Why not? Uh, that's not how that works. <laughs> like we have stats and there are people whose lifetime spend is very high because like as, their, as, as much of their wardrobe is LTT store as mine is. Uh, but... <laughs> There's only so many shirts you can buy. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a limit, right? You, can, you can't go full like, um, you know, I'm trying to think, like Candy Crush, you wail on this, uh, Rise of Kingdoms or whatever the mobile games are called. What's, what's that cringe one that everyone's mad at people for taking sponsorship money from? Not Clash of Clans. Uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends, yeah. right? Like we're not talking about people spending tens of thousands of dollars on LTTstore.com. You can only use so many screwdrivers at once. Uh, no, we actually just really did sell over a hundred thousand screwdrivers. I think we're up to about a hundred twenty-five, hundred thirty thousand now. We're moving. Uh, we we removed the counter, but I mean, I'm all about transparency, guys. Uh, so we're still moving on average about two hundred to two hundred and fifty a day. It's wildly successful, and no, it's not because we have somehow bamboozled people it's into just, buying there's it. There's just one person. It just takes them that long to add 250 to the cart. <laughs> it's just, it's, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's just, it's just one whale, one whale runs the whole store, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How anyway. do you think everything release is successful? Yeah. I mean, it's got to be just that one. <laughs> my, my... It's not because they're good products. It's just one big whale. Yeah, any any opposition I've had to anything that Elon Musk has done is actually just a big smokescreen because we're BFFs and he orders everything off of LTTstore.com <laughs> just as go. a personal favor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and then I, I've got to kind of run interference on this whole thing. That's where my like 4D chess theories about him trying to offload Twitter while well, he secretly turns it into the everything app, but people won't see it coming because I'm out here talking about how he's actually trying to get rid of it and then the value is going to go up and the shares are going to be worth so much. It's a it's a brilliant plan. 